Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Sagittarius for the month of November. Um, it is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. Um, if it doesn't, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. But also, please know that although I am reading for November, you could be feeling these energies whenever you view this video. Okay, when you view it, you were meant to hear it, you were meant to see it. All right. Our current situation is this. Something is not moving, it's stagnant, it's not growing. Um, it could have been um, a new start that got um, reversed, like it, it just didn't work. Uh, somebody may uh, have decided there was no potential in it. Um, the Melodomantum is in the reverse along with, yeah, see, Seven of Coins and the Magician reverse. So somebody did not believe in it. Somebody uh, did not believe that uh, if they put the effort in that it would bring any results, you know. Um, somebody may have thought there was deception or that they were being led astray. Um, it's kind of, that kind of makes sense with what I see up here with the Pied Piper who leads these people astray, you know, leads them out of town. Um, the Melodomantum is uh, in the reverse. So like uh, they may have felt that uh, something was really unfair. It just didn't feel right to them, you know. Um, they could have, they could have not really thought something through also. They may have, uh, taken a decision from an emotional place instead of thinking it, about it logically. They didn't do that. So they may have taken a rash decision, a quick one. It's like, that's it. I'm not wasting any more time on this and left. I'm not going to fall under this person's spell. I see them for who they are. It's, it's like a, um, there's a defiance here with this card, which exactly that's what it is. It's defiance. They, they could be that, <clears throat> This person would have thought, with the Pied Piper being right on it, uh, that somebody was wearing a false face or that they were plotting against them, you know? It was a, or could have felt like a mystery, like they didn't have any answers or weren't getting any, or weren't getting the answers they wanted to hear. Whatever this was, or whatever was in their thoughts, it made them very emotional, and uh, they may have exploded. This is somebody who's throwing a tantrum. They, whatever they were carrying in their hands, they threw it on the ground, and marched off angry you can see the cheeks are red the hands are balled into a fist they didn't get their own way or they didn't get what they wanted so they may have uh, tried to uh, get back at that person also um, in some uh, most likely verbally Um, you can see it's very dark and very stormy, and we do have a storm here. 
And the other person is just watching them go. Almost like maybe uh, they don't uh, they don't understand why they're leaving. Um, they could be frustrated with this person. This person, the one who who blew up and ended it, walked or you know walked away. Um, they are this ice queen here. That's who they've become. Very cold, very distant. Um, and they are grieving, but it's like, almost like, um, their thoughts or thought patterns are at the, uh, are at the root of this. Yeah. It's like they're blaming them for something that they've imagined because they don't have their answers okay so let, let, yeah let's see he, here this is the problem with regards to the situation i just talked about so it could represent the problem um, or what's getting in the way, what's causing delays, or where caution might be needed, right? So here we have the Six of Cups reversed. Somebody's stuck on some emotional baggage they're carrying. Whether that baggage was created with that person or whether it's baggage they've been creating uh, and carrying um, from uh, previous experiences you know, previous to this relationship, right? Anyway, whatever this is they're carrying, it is blocking this healing from happening from, uh, from someone to be able to restore the order or to go back or to take a risk. So, this is ultimately what's blocking all of these things. And th this is what causes them. It's like they were so close. It's like they were so close to the rose, you know? And then they get these sudden memories that just overwhelm them and cause them to jerk back their hand. That's what I get. And, and it's like, well, I don't, I, I'm not going to let this person pull the wool over my eyes or pull the wool over my eyes again. So, uh, clearly, uh, what I pick up is that they have very deep feelings for you. They do, but there's uh, emotional issues, baggage they're carrying that is um, uh, blocking this uh, from happening or from for this reconciliation uh, to happen. It is what what caused them to react the way they did so it is an interruption to this relationship baggage that they've been carrying let's go look here they're looking back at the loss I, it's it's like uh, this person did a, a rash or took a rash action and then quickly regretted it um, but let's remember they're still carrying this baggage. It has not been dealt with. So even if they come back, there's a risk that it would happen again, okay, until that's dealt with. But clearly we see that they do desire that. They think of it. They're thinking of coming back to uh, help the situation. They will come back in and, and they will come back in and they will be much more calm because I see it happening here. 
the Seven of Shields, which is a meeting, a reunion. Here's our Knight of Swords, who typically in, in all the other tarot decks, he's very, um, you know, uh, angry and um, typically has a bee in his bonnet. Well, uh, here you can clearly see this is not the same person, although it is the same person. <laughs> Knight of Swords, they are... Uh, they've learned, this knight has learned in this deck not to be impulsive, not to be rash. So this is what they will come back. Uh, it's kind of like uh, they regroup and uh, they come back. This is what they're thinking of though, okay? They're th they fantasize about you. They fantasize about this romance. They fantasize about... Um, working through the issues, getting it to the place they want it to go. They want to manifest it. The parfait is the next card. He is the magician in the upright. All right. And so this is what they think of. And this is what their heart is breaking over that which they have lost, which is you. And that dream that they wanted because of some rash behavior um, generated by uh, emotional baggage. So how is this evolving currently? Well, justice is in the reverse, ten of swords and judgment. It's almost like they, they live in pain, feeling that everything is unfair. Woe is me. Because what are they looking at? They're looking here at judgment. They want another chance. But they're not taking the action for it. They're sitting down feeling sorry for themselves. It's what they're doing. Um, they could be being dishonest with themselves about the reasons why they're sitting there doing nothing. what needs to be uh, considered going forward, action that needs to be taken, is facing one's fears. It, it's it's uh, forgiveness, or, and this includes forgiveness of the self. It, it's about second chances. It's about not being afraid to give that second chance. It's about having the courage and the strength to do this. face this challenge. This person comes from a place of um, feeling unloved, you know, it comes uh, emotional poverty, so to speak, because uh, you can tell by his clothing, it's all patched, all patched up. His eyes are covered and he's afraid to look at these cups because the future looks gray, you know, it's, it's gray and uh, he doesn't know what will fill these cups in the future. He needs to put his hands down and look. He has to take action. He has to face his fears, he or she. What I see is um, somebody uh, rethinking, rethinking this, you know, coming up with a, a new plan. So I feel like they are pulling themselves out. Currently, they are distracted, okay? Uh, it's like, I want to heal this, right? Um, but um, there's emotional distractions, which we've already seen right from the get-go in this reading here. But and it's like um, uh, the the heart and the mind are at war, and the mind is just coming in to tear apart what the heart wants, and the heart wants you. <laughs> the heart wants the person they love. And so far, they've been listening 
to the mind and listening to the fears. And maybe not trusting in what their heart wants, you know. Um, and so what you can't see coming is the Ten of Cups. It's hidden currently. Um, there, there will be a new offer. There will be an apology. There will be a new start. This has not yet happened. Um, it is news you'll receive within an eight. So um, this could be eight days, eight weeks, eight months. It is an eight. Um, it is news that that will come in unexpectedly. These rods are still grounded. This is something that is still being thought of. But it is coming. So, um, because we have the communication card right here, okay, we have um, the mediator. So, this is communication um um, messages, uh, it could be a, a contact, somebody contacts you suddenly out of the blue, a discussion. This person, uh, here they are here, you know, they're kind of um, not really seeing the truth. Um, they will be uh, taking a step back and to look at things and reevaluate things. It is a card of speaking one's truth. Um, this is what's coming. We have the storm fields and that kind of just reminds me of this uh, defiance card. It's, it's saying that there's a very uncomfortable energy surrounding you right now. Well, we see that, right? Um, uh, or them, actually. Things that were left unattended may be the cause of some conflict. Well, we saw that also. Pent-up energy needs release, just as a storm in nature must break creating temporary disorder. This is what happened. These pent up emotions, pent up energy that broke, creating this temporary disorder. But this card asks you uh, to remember that whatever is being stirred up inside of you or, uh, or between you and another, will benefit you later, even if you don't see it now, or even if they don't see it now. Know that the sun will shine again, and new growth will be observed at that time. Now, you were given another card, and it is this card of commitment. So this is a really great card uh, to be getting, a very strong message. Uh, that the door is open for commitment at this time um, or for the deepening of a commitment. A true commitment is a responsibility of the heart, mind, body, and soul. And now, of course, is a good time to make one. Partnerships formed at this time can be harmonious and powerful. This card can also indicate the, the natural evolution of a relationship from its inception to marriage. So marriage can be seen in the future for some of you uh, with this particular person. There is a promise of fulfillment in some form. However, you must be conscious of what you are committing to. 
This card also says that uh, others are also more willing to enter into partnerships at this time. So um, this is coming. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.